hello students let us continue with the chapter body movements we are going to the last part of the chapter that is the fish and the snake so today we are going to discuss about the two animals that is the fish and the snake first let us see what is the fish fish are those organisms which live in water when we speak about fish they are not only they are very important it is a very important to learn about the movement of fish that is because the fishes are not in the same size or same shape it has various different shape and size this kind of movement is called as streamlined movements what is it called streamlined movement or streamlined body under this streamline let us learn what is the streamlined body a body is said to be streamlined if its shapes offer the least possible resistance to the moving water so if you want anything to move in water then the object should give minimum resistance with that particular object the object should not oppose the movement of water it should just allow the water to move with the water itself so it should be the concept of going with the water itself that is it should be resistant it should be in the least resistant it should offer the shape okay so therefore if you want the object to move in water it should have a particular shape that has to be designed in such a way that it it does not offer any resistance it offers the shape okay so resistance needs opposition so it should not oppose the movement of water so now let us think of the paper boat i am sure you must have seen how the paper boat looks like right you might be knowing how it is made up of it is made up of a paper sofa paper so have you ever noticed a paper boat in water how it moves it starts moving with the wood moving right right so how does it move let it moves normally in the fashion so we see that it moves normally right it moves normally in a wavy structure right like this so the boat in this direction it moves in such a way that paper at the two ends the two ends of the paper shows the direction of the water it shows the direction of the water so when in fact when you make a boat in this shape you see the boat is we make it in this shape why we make it in big the shape it is broad in the middle and tapered at the end tapered is nothing but the sharp at the end see you can see it is sharp at the end this is tapered and in the middle it is broad why is it so so when you look at the fish that is because it shows the direction of the water it helps to move in water it helps to float in water okay so similarly when you look just a second students yeah when you look at the fish it is same as the boat it has been tapered at this end and this end that is why it helps to move that is why it helps to move and it is broad in middle right you can see i'll change the color it is broad in middle and it is tapered at the end so that it helps to move clearly or it helps to move smoothly okay students yes so now let us see the movement of the fish it has strong muscles on the skeleton it helps in 
swimming it has strong muscles on the skeleton which helps in swimming if they don't have any strong muscle then how can they swim so the fish has the strong muscle which helps in swimming so it plays an important role the muscle at the front part of the body is moving to one side that is its tail this is its tail and this is the wing that is the wing so muscles make the front part of the body moving one side of its tail move towards the opposite opposite side of the fish's move that is the tail to one side and the fishes to move in another side it is it gives the opposite side like a wavy structure so when you look at the fish it moves like this why because its tail is here and its body is here so it is a wavy kind of structure okay yes so let us see what structure they have to move let us see students so they have this wavy structure to move only then they can move forward or they can move smoothly so here you see a tail and a fish body right it is in opposite direction so that is how they are able to move smoothly and they are able to float in water this is how they swim okay yes the they have fins and the tail of the fish helps them to change the direction of the main perp direction the main purpose of tail to change direction while swimming is the fins which helps to control the balance and the direction during the swimming fins are controlled by balance because every time they dive and reduce the water so they need to control the balance of the water and their weight so that the controlling balance is handled by the fin okay students did you understand how the movement of the fish is yes when you see the fish moving you see that it keeps moving in a wavy fashion so when the muscles make the front part of the body move to one direction and the tail uh, that is the tail direction again in the another direction so here when you see the fish when you see the fish clearly going forward you see that the tail is here and the body is here this is in the opposite direction this is how it helps to move this is how this is what is called as streamed body okay the two parts of the body which is moving in other direction with the help of the strong muscles so this is how it moves in the opposite direction and it gives a proper shape and a wavy shape to move okay yes this kind of movement gradually helps to move forward so now let us talk about the snake so i hope you all have understood how the movement of the fish happens right so now finally we will talk about the snake as we have discussed before that snake also do not have a vertebral column what is vertebral column that is nothing but a backbone it does not have a backbone so it does not have a vertebral column that is why they are not able to sit or stand right so they can crawl on the ground so how do the movement of the snake they they crawl that crawling is known as slither the snake slither on the ground the snake slither slither is nothing but crawling because they move with the they move with the whole body movement that is nothing but they move their whole body to move forward they are, they should not move straight because they are not able to move straight because their uh, body is uh, moved by pressing against the ground by pushing 
the ground backwards they tend to move forward so they are elongated carnivore reptile that is the snakes cannot move in a straight line it moves in a wavy line itself it does not give the support of moving in a straight line so they crawl in a wavy structure it is elongated in it is known as elongated car uh, carnivore reptile that is why they eat other animal carnivore is nothing but eating the other animals okay they are eating the flesh of the dead animals so other big or small animals they are eaten by the snake because the size of the snake is big it is baggy that is that are a lot of snails which are big and a lot of snakes which are big enough to eat a human being also so when you look at their backbone they have a very long backbone so there so the entire backbone is a type of backbone which have a little different form of that is they don't have exactly a backbone but it is a in a very big backbone that is it has a, a long one so that they uh, cover their body with they cover the body so what we tell that backbone it is very long which helps to move so that helps in the movement of however they do not have the legs it helps in only movement of that is moving here uh, moving from one place to another they crawl this litter so they don't they have a long backbone okay but they do not have any legs it is just like the earthworm how the earthworm moves it moves with a bristle right with the help of bristle that is they uh, put their pressure on the bristle and they move forward just like that even the snakes move like that so such that they cannot walk or run but the muscles helps in movement or let's see how exactly it moves they have a thin uh, muscle scale which helps in the movement and the muscles are present throughout the body and they move very fast and they and they move in the straight line they they ne never move in the straight line sorry they never move in the straight line they move in a wavy structure and uh, why they move in wavy structure because it is uh, it does not have a vertebral column that they can move in a straight line because they cannot sit or stand they walk in a wavy structure and the and they does not walk they slither in a wavy structure they do not move in a straight line so i hope you all have understood what are the uh, movements of the snake right they have thin muscle scale which helps in movement only with the with the help of muscles this they can uh, crawl very fast they are very they f crawl very fast okay i hope you all have understood what we learnt in today's class let us continue this session in the next class thank you class enjoy learning